Yeah. I think par for the course, right? In the last 10 minutes, the markets have come off 50 points from the top, but maybe getting into a weekend, some lightning yeah. opposition. Correct. So, so largely, you know, it's been a trend there for the market, so to speak, and good for the bulls, largely, by, largely because of the Adani saga, the Adani stocks having a big impact on the, on the overall sentiment. Yes. And that's helped the banks as well. So that's a clear feedback. In terms of flows, again, you know, while the, while the index is up so much, it's been a big rally. It looks like more of a shortcoming rally mm -hmm. rather than a genuine buying from the larger institutions. The, the flows are mixed. It's very selective. That's been the trend for this week. Uh, for the last couple of days, there is no directional flows into any particular sector. It's been very, very stock specific. That's the overall feedback. So that's that's in today's trade as well. I guess, uh, you know, the way uh, bank stocks have moved up, uh, there has been a big relief rally on the bank stocks. Looks like this can continue as well because mm -hmm. it's helped by some shortcoming as well. So that's the overall feedback. But broadly, uh, two things. One, uh, it's a clear trend for the markets. It's, it's helping the bulls. But I guess from a flow point of view, it's again quite mixed and very, very selective. Then let's get straight to the stocks. And Amish, what are you picking up on individual counters? So in terms of individual names, the first stock on my list today is HDFC AMC. Uh, last week, I'd explained nicely about the, the, the impending block and how it can impact. Now there is a very strong indication that that block can come very soon. It's most likely going to be in a block window. And uh, I believe it's going to be a clean-out trade from within. Uh, that, can, that can come very soon. So that's the first stock. The second stock is Indian hotels. Now, for the last few days, there has been a consistent buying, buying flow in this particular name, and and, it, and, the, and the feedback is that maybe some of the long-only funds are, are accumulating this stock at, 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 a, at a specific price level. So that's Indian Hotels for you. The third stock is Godrej Properties. Uh, we saw a big move in, in some of the other real estate names uh, in, in the beginning of this week. Today, Godrej Properties is buzzing in trade on very small flows, but I guess it's also helped because of the fact that uh, Jeffrey has added Godrej Properties into their uh, model portfolio by removing uh, J Godrej Consumers. So they've moved from Godrej Consumers to Godrej Properties, and hence a move on that stock as well. And the last stock is Tata Steel. This is very interesting. Huge volumes in this particular stock. Uh, there were multiple blocks as well. And, and even then, uh, the stock is up toward percent. Uh, largely, the indication is that one of the long-only funds uh, is a big active seller in, in, in Tata Steel today. So maybe there could be an indication of that, that selling closely coming to an end, and hence a bit of a move there. I mean, today, uh, this, today's move has been used to sell a pair stake by, by, by a very large long-only fund in Tata Steel. That's the feedback. Mm, interesting list, uh, Nimesh. But as I was telling you, uh, you know, the bar goes up, right? <laughs> so, so we want more. Let's take Adani level. It can't happen right, every yeah. day, right, Pishan? <laughs> I, think, I think Nimesh deserves a, you know, a great weekend. He's had a you know, busy week like all of us, but more pressure on him because he's the one sort of, you know, yeah, working no, no. those phones I mean, and just, getting the info. I'm just, of course, pulling his leg. <laughs> you know, Prashant, Prashant, I was wondering which yeah. bar were you talking about first, but <laughs> got which that. Which <laughs> 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 I know, I know.